In this video, I'm gonna explain why I've chosen to change all of the hoses I use around the property from 12 mil or half inch hose over to 18 mil or three quarter inch hose. The reason I'm doing it is flow. Now it's common sense that a larger hose will provide less resistance over longer distances than a narrower hose. And I got these larger diameter hoses originally for the tank you saw me set up recently. I've got a pump on that and so the pump was going straight into the hose. I could get a lot of pressure and move a lot of water very quickly if I needed to move it from tank to tank or whatever. But when I got that hose, I thought I'd try it out on my household plumbing. And household plumbing's 12 mil through your house, if you didn't know that. And I, you know, I, I expected there would be an increase, but it blew me away. And it was enough that I decided to change all my hoses over to 18 millimeter hoses. Now, my situation is I'm watering a, a half acre property uh, from taps that are on the house. So I've got between 30 and 50 meter lengths of hoses at times that I have to get around to different trees. And when I am watering, I'm watering deeply and not often. So there's times when I want to water and I want to put out a lot of water fairly quickly. And so that's the sort of situation I was dealing with where I found these hoses to be super useful. There are downsides, they are expensive and they are heavy. Uh, but on the plus side, they flow a lot more and we're gonna test that today and they kink less. All right, so I knew they flowed better. I thought today I could actually test it from one of the house taps. So this is from you know 12 millimeter piping in your house out to a 30 mil 30 meter long 18 millimeter hose and I thought we'd compare that to a 12 millimeter hose so let's get into it hey Freya and so that's the end there is it long enough nope I've grabbed the wrong one I've got to go and grab the longer hose okay I didn't actually grab the longer hose I'm going to gift that to someone and I didn't want to ruin the hose so what I've done is I've actually joined on a piece of scrap to make these hoses the same length what are we going to call that I imagine the hose ends about there somewhere and we are ready to start the test so to test the flow rate what I've done is I've got a 20 litre container I'm going to fill it with the 18 mil hose, I'm going to fill it with the 12 mil hose. In fact, we'll do that back to front so you can see the difference. Shock all, the 18 is going to be much better. Um, so we'll fill it with the 12 millimeter hose. I'll time it. I'll do the maths and show that on screen, uh, the flow rate per minute. Then we'll do the same with the 18 and that'll show just how much time I'm cutting down in the garden. 12 millimeter hoses need 12 mil fittings. Whereas the 18 mil obviously needs 18 mil fittings. So I'll quickly change this back over to the 12. I use all brass fittings just because I like them. Um, I actually really like these Holman ones. They've got two O-rings to seal rather than the, the normal one. Um, <laughs> probably makes no difference at all, but it looks fancy. No, I, I suspect it makes a tiny difference. I never have leaks under, under normal use, so that's why I go with the Holmans, but yeah, I'm sure that any brass fitting should be higher quality uh, than your typical plastic ones. All right, let's go test. Uh, to do a fair test, I turn the tap on all the way, as far as it would go. So I filled the water to start, just so they're both starting with the inside of the container wet. Let's be as accurate as possible. And I'm just going to time this using the video. All right, so that took that long to fill. I'm not too worried about wasting water today. Our tanks are full and we've got a lot of rain still on the way, as you can probably tell. Let's go try the 18 mil hose first. I'll still put it on a tree, of course. I'm not a savage. And now we'll do the 18 mil hose. And there you have it. 
it took this many seconds uh, with a flow rate of that many liters per minute so that'll all be on the screen hopefully or else I look very silly talking like that let's go and discuss so you can read the comparisons online and I mean everyone knows 18 millimeter hose will flow more but with my pipes I've tested it now with my pipes uh, with 30 meters of hose on my property with my pump I get around one and a half times the flow with 18 millimeter hose compared to 12 millimeter hose and for me that difference is worth it it's just more convenient and costs me less time so you've probably noticed the nozzles I'll quickly explain what we have here my favorite nozzle for watering trees is actually this which is a fire hydrant nozzle you can open it right up so you can get a gentle flow at least at our pressures um, but a large volume of water straight to the base of the tree I do deep watering so I water seldomly but when I do I want to do a lot of water very quickly and using the 20 mil or 18 mil hose and this sort of nozzle saves me an awful lot of time I also use the same style just in a smaller nozzle and um, I have these around the place for the same reason for watering I used to use these style or this style with 12 mil hose uh, and they also make the same with the 18 mil hose attachment uh, they're good they're a lot cheaper than the fire hydrant so warning if you do ever want to get one of these they're very expensive uh, they are very durable I, I consider them hopefully a one-off purchase but time will tell um, but you can get the cheaper version and you can get these ones from most big box stores now warning I find them very useful around the garden uh, for putting out large large volumes of water but they're actually not that useful as a hose nozzle they don't get a really uh, pressure pressure jet that you can use to clean things off or and sometimes they get things stuck in them so trying to get different uh, different spray patterns can be a challenge but they are really good for having a widespread with a large volume of water that's what I found them useful for anyway so yeah if you've wondered that's what I'm using so do you need 18 millimeter hoses for a small home orchard definitely not you're fine without them I was fine without them but are they useful are they convenient and would I definitely recommend them for those starting up a brand new orchard yes thanks for watching